Stage 1 begins the journey of the future medic main. They start off as harmless, helpless, and absolutely clueless, but their journey is probably the most difficult out of all the 9 classes. There's no real reason why they picked medic to begin with, but the most common reasons are usually A. Their team asked for one, and they went Okay, why not? B. They randomly picked Medic out of the 9 classes Or C. They watched me the Medic and thought, wow, this guy looks cool Whichever reason it may be, it's their first time ever playing Medic and they have no idea what they're doing Okay, cool, so my job is just to heal this guy Okay, where did he go? How the hell did he- Oh, oh, okay Wait, okay, I'm clicking on you, but I can't heal you Hold on, wait, can you come close? How did I get up there? Oh god, no, oh god, no, oh, please, no, come on, wait, come on, one more hit Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead Stage 1 Medic mains are also known for making the same mistakes Oh, so I should only heal the heavy and not anybody else. All right, buddy, let's go. Shit. I am an almighty god. Fight me if you dare. Ah. Uh. The medic gun beam is really short, so I have to stay really close. All I have to do is heal people, so I don't really have to move. If they haven't already chosen another class due to the medic's low survivability, medic mains usually move to stage 2 pretty quickly. They're aware that they like the idea of healing and decide to explore the class in more depth. This is where they begin trying out new items and tactics. Generally, it's harmless experimentation but some begin overusing their new items simply because they think it's better than just using a default item or a medigun. Some have also never played a support role before and end up adopting a more... aggressive playstyle. So if I land all my shots, I can't die. Oh, come on, come on, shoot me, I dare you, I dare you, I have infinite health with the blue so oh my, that's nothing! Oh my god, this blue song weapon is so overpowered, I literally can't die. You think you can kill me? Oh my god, you're so funny. Uh... So if I use this, I get 25% uber. It's faster than the medigun, so I should use this instead. <laughs> Easy kill, ah! Alright, this is it, this is it. <laughs> so many people, 25, 50, <laughs> We got no one more time. I was so close. I got you this time. I got you this time. Come on. Come on. Yes, pure skill. Get wrecked, kiddo. You just got owned by Battle Medic. How's it feel, huh? Come on, step up. Step oh, what? That's right. You can. You're dead. God, I'm so good at this game. After trying out the battle medic strategy, they also begin to observe other medics, either in the form of YouTube videos or in any game they join. Their overall performance does improve in small amounts, but many simply rush the learning process and go, if they do that, I can and should too. Whoa, holy crap! Oh, that has to be the best weapon in the game. I have to use it too. Stand still? Okay, my bad. Sorry. One more time? Fuck, I'm sorry. One more time? Shit. Okay, another time? Got it. Stand still, please. You moved. What the hell? Can you stand still? I'm trying to heal you. You little sh I, I hope that you get a popcorn kernel stuck in between your back two teeth and it's really hard for you to get out. Go uninstall the game and just go kill yourself. Why do you even play? Go back to Kyle this guy sucks even worse than my broken vacuum cleaner. When the medic reaches stage 3, he not only realizes his many mistakes, he actually wants to improve and become useful for the team. The medics are usually blamed and insulted via voice chat or the game chat, often leading them to main other classes simply because they get a lot of hate from their own team when they make a mistake. However, as bad as the stress can be on an aspiring medic main, there comes a moment that all medics go through that leads them to stage 4. Thanks. Uh, did I hear that right? Wait, what do you say? I, I said thanks. You're healing me. Right. Okay. Sure. Alright, okay, sure, let's go. Yeah, let's go. You're a really good med. <laughs> Thank you, no one's ever said that to me. Oh really? That's a shame, because you're really good. At some point in time, the medic main will know what it's like to be thanked for helping his team. The medic experiences an epiphany where he realizes that there are people that truly appreciate him for playing medic. He enters a state of happiness where he feels much more encouraged and supported by his teammates. It encourages him to play more medic and of course strive to become a better player.
In stage 5, the medic main begins to hone his skills by playing more, observing more, and learning from his past mistakes. This is where the medic main begins to watch YouTube videos and read up on guides online. What the fuck? When you play bad, don't. Keep your hate. No shit. He's also extremely dedicated to playing medic whenever possible. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Come on, come on, come on. I want this. I want this. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. The one downside is that although they improve, medic mains at this stage often purchase a lot of items or cosmetics and are absolute tryhards. Oh, the perfect color for my medic cosmetics. And it's only holy sh. I needed this for a joke too. The, the medic girlfriend. I would never spend that much money for a stupid joke. Yes, yes, yes! Teehee, I love playing medic. I play my soldier boyfriend all the time. He has a huge, <laughs> he has a huge bulge, OO, and he's a professional soldier player. Uh, sorry, I only heal my soldier boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> we won easy game. Stage 5 can usually last a very long time or even forever. Medic mains past the stage are always looking to learn something new, and whether they realize it or not, they constantly pick up new positive traits that help them to become much better players. Stage 6 occurs when the medic has played for more than a few hundred hours and is actually really skilled. He knows how to position himself during a fight, how to prioritize healing, or even when to and when not to pop uber. However, when playing, the medic will eventually come across some pretty annoying players. Okay, if we stick together, we won't die, and we should be fine, unless you do that. Medic, what the fuck? Why didn't you follow me? Okay, wait, don't take the health kit. Freaking. Okay, yes, I know, I know. Okay, you want a minute? I get it. Shut up. I get it. I'm healing you. I'm here. I oh my god, stop. You have this. What am I meant to do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Give me the sandwich and I can. Fuck it, I don't care anymore. As a result, the medic main will begin to play other classes more often, simply because of how annoying it can be to play medic. Some also get pretty vocal about how they feel. They blame and insult their teammates every time they die, sometimes even when it's not the team's fault. Why is no one protecting me? I have to take care of all of this myself. I'm a medic. Why is no one protecting me? Stupid goddamn team does not have a freaking play. Either way, most continue playing, tolerating everything until they reach their limit. Okay, yes, I know. I the hell. Unless you do that. Oh, you have this. What am I meant to do? What the heck? What? Hello? Oh, oh shit. At this point, the medic main has played for a good thousand hours or more and has completely lost it. The many teammates that insult, abuse, or spam the medic gradually deteriorates the medic's mental health to the point where he finally snaps. This is usually the stage where some stop playing medic or even TF2 altogether. I want to play medic, but I just... I really want to play him. I just... I just can't. Medic mains at this point may feel like swapping to other classes. They're more fun, less stressful, and they can actually get kills without getting insulted. But even then, there's something that holds them back from swapping completely. A voice in the back of their head that constantly reminds them of who they really are. Why are you doing this? Didn't I tell you stop? For the last time, listen to me. You're a medic main. Stop trying to hide it. What do you know about playing medic, huh? I'm always treated like shit no matter what I do. Isn't that the point of playing medic? Self-sacrifice? I don't care anymore. No, stop lying to yourself. You want to play medic. We both know that. So come on. They need you. Please. After playing other classes, they realize that playing medic is something that they love, no matter the cost. Even if they do get insulted constantly, the feeling of supporting your teammates, being thanked, and being the foundation of your team is something that no other class can really achieve. They go back to playing medic, and for good this time, often investing even more of their money into medic cosmetics and items. They also- Oh, <clears throat> sorry, I gotta take this. Hello? Yep, this is medic main 69 what's up? Yes, I did buy three unusuals and six australiums, why? What do you mean I ran out of money? Ah, shit. You have the casual medic mains that are extremely laid back and don't take the game seriously at all, the try-hard medic mains that get salty really easily, or the competitive medic. The one that's really good at his job and makes the game so much more fun to play, but an absolute nightmare when you play against him. 
Either way, their love for Medic is unconditional, and at this point, there is very little anyone can do to stop him from playing Medic. Finally, the Medic main reaches stage 10. After months or even years of playing TF2, they come to the point where they have mastered essentially everything there is to master when playing Medic. Their survivability, healing proficiency, and ability to multitask makes them an invaluable asset to the team and a force to be reckoned with. Majority are also really friendly people that are just genuinely fun to play with and talk to. Some Medic mains decide to join or create teams and participate in TF2 tournaments, both big and small. Of course, some may choose to remain casual players and stick to pubs. Either way, they remain the unspoken angels of TF2. Hey everyone, I have a Twitch channel and a Discord server, so if you'd like to chat or watch me play games live, you can check them out in the description below. I also have some new merchandise. If you like the designs and want to support my channel, feel free to buy them on Teespring. Last but not least, I want to thank you all for the amazing support, fan art, and donations that I've received. It helps me a lot, and I truly appreciate it, so thank you.